because of Brittany and her loving heart, I have never felt alone. And I know if I ever needed her, and I have, she would be there. And you were there for me when I was in a lot of pain from getting my wisdom teeth pulled and I need you to bring me a loaded pretzel hot dog and milkshake from Sonic. Loving, caring, she's full of passion and she's so very determined and I'm very proud of you. When I first met Ryan, it was at a basketball practice, and he was a person that practiced like he played and always wanted to be first. I did not like that. So for the next six years of school, we were constantly pushing each other to be the best in sports, which carried on into adulthood. We pushed each other to be better students, friends, and especially roommates. So you are welcome, Brittany. I am the reason that he covets the dishwasher, and he can cook a chicken breast 14 different ways. Brittany, you still have your work cut out for you. I wish you all the best. I did what I could. You look beautiful With that white dress on With that white dress on You look more beautiful Than anyone I've known Than anyone I've known So over the years, I... Um I used to think, like, what? I wonder what her husband's going to be like. What's he going to be like? Is he going to be able to support that lobster, filet mignon, crab legs? She likes good food, for sure. But most importantly, will he be able to love and cherish her the way I do? The way we do. That we cherish her. You look beautiful tonight. I met Ryan a couple years ago, about three years ago, I guess. And um, Ryan, uh, I think within a short period of time, I realized that all those questions I was asking that this could quite possibly be the yes to the answers. It didn't take long. He's either on his absolute best behavior every time he's around me, or he is one of the calmest, coolest, collected dudes I have ever met in my life, and I think it's the latter. You look more beautiful than anyone I know. while walking to school together in the sixth grade, to buying macadamia nut cookies on every Saturday night before church. Yes, girl. To those college afternoon study sessions, where I bring the coffee and you bring your patience. And I have to say, I actually, I was actually helping you be the teacher you are today all those eighth grade level math problems I had. We've lived a lot of life together. And I've enjoyed every moment.
I guess maybe a year ago, I get a text from Ryan. And um, I was at work. He gets sent me a text, which is a little unusual, I guess, that, in, that early in the morning. And he says, do you have time to talk at lunch? Uh-oh. Something's wrong, right? So I, um, I'm like, I'm not waiting till lunch. I pick up the phone right away. Like, he goes, uh, small talk for a minute. And he says, can I have your daughter's hand in marriage? <laughs> and, and I said, yes. I said, I couldn't have picked a, a better man to be my daughter's husband. And I meant it then. And I mean it even more so now. I love you, man. of your friends and your family, showing your love for one another. This is special. This is real. This is what you've been dreaming of. The fact that in this crazy world, you two have found each other is quite remarkable. It's worth being praised and celebrated. To find the half that makes you whole is a beautiful thing. When you two met, something special happened. A spark united the flame that simply cannot be put out. <clears throat> Ryan, I don't think you realized it, but I loved having you around to hang out with and take care of. But nothing compares to how honored I am to be standing up here on the biggest days of your life. You have chosen such a beautiful person inside and out to spend the rest of your life with. I remember one of the first times I met Brittany. We were down in Florida visiting our mom. My favorite moment was seeing her join my mom on a dance floor for the Wobble Song. It was at that moment that I knew she was such a fun-loving, caring individual and would be a perfect fit for Ryan to cherish and cheer on for the rest of his life. As a spectator of their relationship, it's extremely clear that two of you represent the perfect pairing because each of you complements with each other so well. You balance one another and while each one of you is tremendous individuals, together you're even better. I, Ryan, take you, Brittany, to be my wife. I, Ryan, take you, Brittany, to be my wife. To have to hold from this day to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. I, Brittany, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I, Brittany, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold for it to stay forward. <laughs> for better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Hi Ryan, give you Brittany. Hi Ryan. Give you Brittany. Take you Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> Her name's Brittany. <laughs> this ring is a symbol of my love and commitment to you. This ring is a symbol of my love and commitment. Hi, Brittany. Give you Ryan. Hi, Brittany. Give you Ryan. This ring is a symbol of my love and commitment to you. This ring is a symbol of my love and commitment to you. To make a relationship work, it will take love. Continue to date each other, take time to show each other that you love each other, and your marriage grows stronger with time. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you truly want what's best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another and learn to grow together. It will take loyalty to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future holds. And it will be a commitment to hold true for the journey you have pledged together today. And now, in the power invested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Uh -huh.
It is now my pleasure to announce for the first time, Brian, Mr. and Mrs. Brian Booker. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. I can't stop staring. You've put a spell on me, and I hope that you never decide to set me free. The way you're moving. Got me moving my own feet The greatest feeling That I could ever dare to dream Is you forever moving next to me I am so happy that she has finally found a man that puts her love above everything else. You can feel the love between and I can see the love that you have for Brittany when you look at her. And you are marrying an amazing woman who could not be more kind-hearted with so much love. And I know that there will never be anyone that goes to bed mad in your house because you both will probably be racing each other to say I'm sorry first. I'm blessed to have seen firsthand the beginning of your relationship and look forward to seeing many more chapters of a very special love story. Let's not waste time or take this slow. You got miles behind us, but miles to go. So let's just break this down to the simplest truth. You and I as one will always be better than two. time or take this slow we've got miles behind us but miles to go so let's just break this down to the simplest truth you and I as one will always be better than two yeah you and I as one will always be better than Now, Brittany, 
Sabrina and I are very happy that you have come into Ryan's life. I am glad that I have someone to help tell him that socks cannot be worn with sandals. French fries are not a vegetable. And that it is in his best interest that Chick-fil-A is not open on Sundays. It is a blessing knowing he has someone else to test his dad jokes on and someone else to beat him in Mario Kart. It will be a fun and exciting road ahead that we cannot wait to enjoy with you both. time full of love, laughter, and happiness. And may your, all your dreams come true together. I love you both. Congratulations. 